Welcome back to Alvaro's Garage. So on today's project, I'm going to try to essentially create a EVAP system for the FJ40. This is for the fuel tank um, vapors. So one issue I had with the FJ40 last time I went out is uh, it has a vented gas cap and on hard right uh, kind of off camber um, areas of the track or the of the road. What would happen is gas would slosh towards the, the cap and since it's a vented gas cap, uh, since there's a little bit of pressure in the tank at that time, the gas would essentially spill out of the car or out of the gas cap. So to resolve that, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of recreate what most car manufacturers have by default in the, I guess starting from the 80s, 90s. Um, since mine's a 70, it didn't have any of that. So let me kind of explain what I'm gonna do. So on this section, is gonna to go towards the gas cap, or should I say the gas tank. Um, I'm gonna vent this to a filter. The filter is gonna act as my vapor separator. So the intent is any gas will get trapped in the filter. Any gasoline will get trapped in the filter and then the vapor gas will just escape out. This is gonna to go to, towards the charcoal canister. So this is a Amazon special um, oil catch can that I've kind of modified for use as a charcoal canister. So what's gonna happen is the vapors come in and then when the cart is off, it'll force the vapors to go through the charcoal. Then it'll vent out and I'm gonna pipe this back towards the filter element of the throttle body. When the car is on, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have this ball valve turn on. So the vapors gonna go towards the path of least resistance. So it'll come in and then immediately come out through the ball valve into the throttle body. I'm gonna pipe this to a ported vacuum. So with light load or light throttle, it'll actually suck vacuum to the gas tank, which would help evacuate the vapors. So that's gonna be this video's project. So I'm gonna walk through what I did on the oil catch can. So essentially tapped the fittings for a quarter inch uh, NPT thread. Then we use a quarter inch hose, the one that came with it too big. Um, I stuffed some steel wool so I my filter element on the intake and exhaust or intake and output then I drilled and tapped uh, a half inch NTP to again another quarter inch barb with steel wool stuffed as my filter so I'm going to fill this with charcoal so that'll be my off position um, vapor kind of escaping route which goes to the charcoal which would remove the vapor smell and then that'll go to the throttle body and then during on essentially come in come out and since it's going to a ported vacuum on the throttle body it'll help evacuate the vapors from the fuel tank as well as help purge the carbon so when the tank is actually under vacuum already and there's no more vapors to exhaust then what's going to happen is we'll have fresh air come in through the charcoal and help purge it so I'll just be using activated carbon. This is for my aquarium, but this should work for this purpose. So. Very little rattle, so it's actually pretty well packed. So this is the bracket I made to go ahead and mount it to the FJ40. So I went ahead and mounted the bracket, but after mounting it, it's a little flimsy. So what I'll probably do is, is kind of weld a little gusset there to reinforce it. That way it doesn't wobble around as much as it is. But this is pretty much what I'm thinking. So it's gonna be the the canister, the charcoal canister. 
And then I'm gonna mount the ball valve right somewhere around here. And then that'll go to the ported vacuum section of the throttle body. So instead of reinforcing this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and make one out of a quarter inch aluminum plate. So we're gonna have it cut up and mocked up. I'm just gonna weld this onto here. So that'll be my bracket. I went ahead and remade the bracket with a quarter inch aluminum. Definitely to uh, practice more welding aluminum. But overall I got good penetration and should be enough for what it's supporting. So it should be nice and rigid now. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint it. We went ahead and drilled the bottom plate of the air filter. Here's the four inch part I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to weld that on to create a nice seal. And the bottom side will be while we'll be feeding the output of the charcoal filter. And this will go into the air filter kind of slash throttle body cavity. I've gone ahead and welded the fitting. Um, my stainless steel welding is definitely a lot better than my aluminum welding. But yeah, overall it came out pretty good. Since the gas tank doesn't quite have a vent that I can use, went ahead and uh, added a vent onto the, onto the filler neck. This is going to be my vent that goes to the charcoal canister. Alright, we got everything set up. It is a little bit more on the ghetto side of things than I originally imagined. But here you got the vent from the filler neck, which would be venting the gas tank. Um, this is what I kind of improvise as my um, vapor separator. So the theory is, you know, if any gasoline does splash up, it'll get trapped here versus actually going up the fuel line. And then you kind of miss, we just get absorbed through the filter element. Um, so it goes up and then loops back down and comes up underneath the car. Then comes to the charcoal canister. So it comes in and then in theory is when the car loops out, I have the ball valve connected to the same trigger as the fuel pump. So when the fuel pump is running, the ball valve is open and the fuel pump only runs um, during priming and when the car is operational. So fuel pump, or should I say the ball valve opens, vent goes to the ported intake of the Phytech system. So any light throttle will pull vacuum, idle, it'll just vent into the throttle body. When the system is off, the ball valve will turn off, which would then result in the fumes going through the charcoal canister, coming out, and then vent into the, I guess the plenum area of the filter, um, I don't know what you call this, filter cavity. So here's the air filter, and then inside I have this bung welded in, which would then essentially vent bent into that um, but yeah so it's a little on the ghetto side of things but it should resolve the issue of pressure building up through the gas tank and venting through the, the gas cap so the problem I was having is on off camber a little sloshing around the fuel would actually vent through this vented gas cap um, so the next thing is just to replace a gas cap with a non-vented version. But yeah, I think I'm uh, fairly confident this is going to resolve the issue. I have uh, a Mojave trip planned in uh, hopefully next two weeks, depending on weather. So this will be my, I guess, my field test. But I think it's going to resolve this um, issue with the gas sloshing and spilling out. You kind of, I'm not sure you get that on the camera, but you can see where gas has actually hit it kind of faded off. I tried to do some vinyl restore to kind of get it blended in but you can see where the gas has you know splashed and it just stinks. If it kind of feels a little scary. It had a fire extinguisher essentially on hand and ready to go in case the car, you know, caught on fire when we're <laughs> off roading. But I think it, it flashes off and vaporizes pretty quick, so it's more of just a, a stink versus a real fire hazard. But nonetheless, it does it did spill, and the exhaust outlet is here, so it is on a higher risk of a of danger. So I think with the new gas cap and new vent system, 
um, this would be resolved. So, you know, thanks for watching. It's uh, a little on the ghetto side. I'm kind of a, a little embarrassed to be showing this, but I think it is going to be functional and it is going to resolve my problem. So, I'm not sure if anybody else finds this of value, but in case you do, you know, hopefully do a better job than I did. But thanks for watching. Take care.